ridiculously hot day in Texas. So today I have to go take the manifold, the turbo, all that kind of stuff to Troy's because um, long story short, when the manifold's done, I'm gonna want to mount the turbo fairly quickly. So I want the turbo to be done before the manifold. So what I'm gonna do is I have to clock the middle of the turbo so that the oil feed is at the top and the oil drain is directly at the bottom. I'm sure some of you know this, but some of you don't because it's just a gravity system. So the oil, high pressure oil comes in the top and then it drains straight out the bottom, goes back to the oil pan. So that involves me taking apart this really old turbo and it's probably gonna kind of be a bit of a bitch. So I'm gonna take it to my buddy's Troy. He has a whole kick-ass TIG setup. He's gonna help me out. I have to uh, weld the internal gate on the turbo. That's gonna be interesting. I really have never used a TIG before, so I'm gonna learn. I have to, like I said, clock the inside of it. And then I have to put it all back together and strap on the oil drain and the feed adapter sort of stuff. I've had this, all this stuff kind of sitting around for a little while, so it'll be good to finally get it on the car. But things are looking good. Got a few more weeks of work on this. So enjoy this episode, guys. So I finally, after a lot of pounding, got this exhaust housing separated. And we're gonna toss it in the media blaster to clean it up. Okay, so I have the uh, 
the interior part of the turbo housing right here. And what I've got to do is I have to clock the turbo so that the oil feed is on top and the oil drain is directly on bottom. So I have it sitting on the manifold like it needs to sit. And what I'm going to do is slip, make sure this is all clean. So now with the oil feed, this is the oil feed side, you can tell. This needs to go directly up. So this exducer side you can already tell I'm gonna have to move this. You wanna be very careful with this not to bend any blades or anything. So I'm just gonna guide it in. And it's just these two metal brackets and four bolts that hold it in place. So I push those over it. So here's a close up. So the next step is just to pull this whole thing off. Just undo these bolts that are holding it on. And then I can tighten this down for its permanent fitment. Pretty simple, but if you were to do it incorrectly, you could have very disastrous effects for your turbo. So now I'm just gonna pull this off. I have my 13 millimeter wrench here, and I just get to tighten these down now. surprises so the last step in reassembling the turbo is to uh, put on the top housing again this just slips over here it's held on by this big circlet so I'm gonna mount it back on the car real quick and then uh, check all that all right, so with this mounted back on the car, take this big juicy hole set, let's make sure it's all cleaned out. And this big son of a bitch goes on the front here. So this can rotate freely right now. I get to sort of decide how it needs to sit so that I can get everything out and all that good stuff. This is where I want it to sit. Now I take the big ass circlip. special tool for this, but seeing as I only need it once, I don't think I'm going to be buying a special tool. God damn it. So in preparation for mounting the turbo, I have to do a couple of things to make sure that it's good and ready. So first of all, I have all new gaskets for it. So this is a manifold side gasket, exhaust side gasket, and all that. After some battling getting this damn thing on with uh, 
channel locks finally worked. But in addition to all of this stuff, you can see I've welded the wastegate. Has some video there. That's not going anywhere. And now I have a mild steel piece right here. That's an exact match for this flange. And this is a three inch cutout for exhaust. So I can run a downpipe. So with this on, you can throw this piece away. Next, with my turbo clocked and everything, I now have to run this uh, adapter. This is extremely hard to find adapter, but it goes from the 3N fitting that I got from KA, or Cameron at KA Motors to the exact hole set fitting. I don't remember exactly what size it is, but it was a huge pain to get it. So this, will just fit right in there. I'll get a crush washer, just real quick. So this is just a 13, or a 14 millimeter. Okay, that's pretty damn tight. I don't think that's leaking ever. Then this will go from my tapped oil system onto this. Boom, oil feed. So that side's done. Next, oil drain. Now, I'll show uh, the process of porting this out, but it's just kind of a big pain in the ass to get it to be a nice good fit on there. So I'll show that now, maybe do a little more. Okay, so we've got our oil feed, oil drain with little connection here. We're ready to go. Badass. So I think that's actually it. I think uh, the next step will be mounting this to the uh, manifold, as soon as I finish the manifold, and then uh, I think we're ready to go. Awesome. If any of you are wondering where I got these pieces, I'll have uh, probably links in the description if I can find where I bought them from, because I bought them a while ago. This is just eBay parts here, and then this was a very specialty part, and I had to order it from sort of a, like a transmission shop. So I'll try to find all that, and I'll put it in the description for you. Okay. What's up, everyone? Thank you for uh, watching another episode of me just fucking around with the turbo. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've had all these parts sort of sitting scattered through the shop for a while, and it's good to finally get them on the turbo, get the turbo clocked, get the internal wastegate weld, welded and get it ready to go on the car. So as soon as I can, I'm gonna get that manifold on there, I'm gonna get the turbo mounted, and then we're gonna do some oil and feed drains, some exhaust, and then hopefully get it running and start tuning it. As soon as I do that, it's, it's almost done, honestly. So, thanks for watching guys. Huge shout out to Troy for lending me his TIG and letting me learn on it and teaching me and use up all his uh, argon and stuff like that. He's a cool dude. 
I wish he had like some sort of channel or something I could tell you guys to go follow him. But <sighs> thank you, Troy. It's as much as I can do. Thank you for all you subscribing to this channel and watching me do stupid stuff like this all day long. So, you know the drill. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment. Peace. Yeah.